let us discuss process involved in public key infrastructure first applicant will apply for digital certificate from certifying authority then certifying authority will delegate the process for verification of information that is supplied by applicant to registration authority third registration authority validates the information and if information is correct tells the certifying authority to issue the certificate fourth certifying authority issues the certificate and manages the same through its life cycle again certifying authority maintains a list of certificates which have been revoked terminated before its expiry date this list is known as certificate revocation list CA will also have certification practice statement in which standard operating procedure for issuance of certificate and other relevant details are documented so this is how a digital certificate looks like it has been issued to yahoo.com so if i am able to generate this certificate from yahoo.com it gives a sense that this particular website is genuine let us differentiate between ca and ra ca issues and manages digital certificates whereas ra verifies the information provided by applicant of the digital certificate and tells the ca to issue the certificate CA is solely responsible for issuance of digital certificate. CA is also responsible for managing the certificate throughout its life cycle. CA delegates to RA some of the administrative function like verification of information needed to issue the certificate. So, CA validates and authenticates the holder of the certificate after issuance of the certificate. Whereas RA validates and authenticates the information of the applicant before issuance of the certificate. Now let us differentiate between CRL and CPS. CRL is a list of certificates that have been revoked before their scheduled expiry date. On the other hand, CPS is a detailed set of rules and processes of certifying authorities operation. So CRL is maintained by CA and CPS. It contains controls that CA observes and method it uses to validate the authenticity of the applicants and CS expectation of how its certificate may be used. So basically standard operating procedure of certifying authority. So this CPS actually provides value and trustworthiness of certificate issued by that CA. Thanks for watching. Please visit datainfosec.com for more such videos.